I'd like to pass it on to uh, my SQL team for our first session, which is my SQL overview for Oracle DBS. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Machari. So, um, my name is uh, Ryan. I'm from the uh, MySQL uh, solution engineering team for Asia Pacific. I'm uh, based out of uh, Malaysia, so it's just a short flight, two hours to Bangkok. So with me today is uh, Ivan, you know my colleague from Hong Kong. Uh, so two of us will deliver four session. Uh, this session is uh, very uh, introductory. It's targeted to um, people who have used database before. But however, this is not um, database, uh, a session to compare one to one, right? What is the equivalent command in Oracle to MySQL? And it doesn't also tell you when or why you should use Oracle or MySQL. Any problem with that? <laughs> but do, do ask me questions since we are small cloud. Uh, you, if you face any problems using you know, some concept that you're not very clear, you know, we, we are here to, to help clear, um, clear the doubts. Okay? Um, so this talk is about major differences between Oracle and MySQL. And also to tell you uh, what are the MySQL architecture uh, for enterprise deployment, right? Um, I think Michari um, talked about MySQL, how scalable it is, right? Do you use Facebook? Everybody <laughs> use Facebook, right? So Facebook uses MySQL, right? So when Mark Zuckerberg uh, started uh, Facebook, um, actually use PHP, right, PHP, and MySQL. I recently just uh, re-watched the movie Social Network, and I think in the middle uh, of the scene, Mark Zuckerberg was saying, oh, I need uh, more server for MySQL and PHP, right? So it's an uh, open secret. <laughs> Uh, before I go on, um, any um, question that you might have before coming to this section, what do you want to find out? Just to, just to uh, learn? <laughs> you should be teaching. <laughs> so. I think if you on the, uh, in, on, um, visited our booth uh, downstairs, uh, we have a banner say um, the top five uh, website runs on uh, MySQL. So these are the, some of the bigger you know, um, businesses and unicorn that are using MySQL. Right? You can see uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and PayPal. You know, they're using MySQL. Sorry, I didn't wait for you. I uh, just get started. <laughs> um, we asked everybody questions. Um, any databases that you are familiar with? Um, what database are you currently using, or you're just uh, come here to, to learn? Oh, I'm just asking what is your experience of uh, using database? Sorry? <laughs> oh, web application. All right, so I think, um, yeah, this is a session to talk about, you know, um, the basic of uh, MySQL. And more example, right, how people are using MySQL now, uh, Oracle, so I'm going to ask you because you said you all use Oracle. What is the difference between database and schema? Uh, 
Relational and non-relational? Uh, not exactly, right? Um, what I know is, um, you know, database, um, it's, it's a structure of uh, uh, storing data. And then schema usually is related to user. So you can create a database, and when you log on to a database using a user a schema, all the database uh, table objects um, owned by that uh, schema. So schema, it's similar to user. However, in MySQL, we don't have that concept, right? So database is similar to schema. So there's no concept of, uh, uh, of schema, you know, user owning the table. Got it? <laughs> So um, database and schema is not exactly uh, as any difference in MySQL, right? So they are similar. So in MySQL, we don't actually have a user that owns a database, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's similar. Uh, okay, so question is, um, how do we uh, clarify a table is owned by a user? So, yeah, as we said, we don't really have uh, you know that that concept in MySQL. So the way we do it is uh, we grant uh, privileges to user. So whether it has a um, right to select, right to delete, and update. Okay, so it's not owned by anybody. So when I, when we um, delete that user, that database is still, you know, accessible to other. Right. We also have a concept of a role that we can assign to user. Okay. So how do you connect to a database? Right, in, in Oracle, we use SQL plus, and then you can connect to the database. In MySQL, we use a MySQL client, right, command line. Right, DBA like to use command line, so we use MySQL uh, a client to connect to the uh, database. So I can uh, just uh, quickly show you. Oh, it's very small.
So the DBA, uh, default DBA uh, user is root, but this root is not the same as your OS root, but they have the same name, but it, it, it's the DBA uh, user. Okay, so minus P is the port number. Usually, this is a default that we use it to connect to the database. And then minus small p is the password, OK? So you log on already to the database, OK? Now, um, so you want to look at uh, how many databases that you have. So we have the, you know, the two system catalog uh, database called the information schema that contain the data describing the database, the metadata, we call it. And then we have the performance schema that keep track of um, you know, the different performance statistic of the table, how many rows of data, a table in the database. And then these are the user database, okay? So I have a uh, Ryan, and then WarX, MyDB, and MySQL is the system uh, um, catalog. Um, so that's how you use uh, MySQL to connect to the database. So I explained this before. Um, we the database isn't really owned by anybody, right? Uh, we create user to um, in the database, and then we grant the privileges to the uh, uh, user so that they can, you know, operate on a database, select, update, or delete um, from a database, right? And for developers or people who just want to uh, play around with MySQL database, um, there is a GUI tools that you can use to work with the database called MySQL Workbench. Okay, so it's a uh, GUI you can download. Um, it's it's point and click. It doesn't. But it, it, yeah, it's, it's very easy to use um, point and click. It doesn't require you to know um, all these commands that I just type, right? <laughs> so use database, show database, and, and so on. So it gives you a quick start to learn the database. And for you uh, currently using um, Microsoft SQL Server, if you want to try um, to see whether you can port some of the data into MySQL. Um, the workbench actually have uh, database migration tools that you could use to test out, you know, um, how the uh, data, how to work with data in MySQL. Okay, so you can um, export data and then migrate into uh, MySQL. Okay, so um, this is a bit uh, busy, <laughs> but basically I just want to show you the difference architecture uh, between Oracle and MySQL. All right, so we have the, so in my, uh, Oracle we have the system global area, the memory, the buffer, and uh, we also have the uh, on this structure, how data organize on the disk, in the disk. And then we have a set of uh, server process that work with data, right? Uh, accepting connection, uh, writing data in the memory and making sure data has got flushed to the disk. And this is very similar to MySQL. So we also have uh, a memory for us to cache data um, 
after you know we read it from the disk. So this is for fast access, so that we don't have to go to the disk all the time, because reading from this is very expensive. Okay, so we use uh, memory um, to cache some of the data. And in the disk, um, we have um, the log file to record changes uh, in the transaction log. Uh, we call it redo log, similar to Oracle. There's a, a redo log to keep transaction. In case um, database uh, die, you know, uh, we use this to roll back or roll forward that transaction um, that's either committed or non-committed to uh, the disk so that we can bring consistency uh, back to the database. Okay. Okay, so at this point, you understand a little bit about MySQL. How do you install MySQL? All right, so you can either download from our website. It's called www mysql.com. Depending on the different uh, system that you work on, whether it's Windows or Linux, and a different uh, package installation, you could use yum install, uh, or RPM, or APT, or you could do a tar to extract you know, the uh, tarball from um, the download into a directory of your choice, okay? Usually, uh, we recommend people to use the tar, tarball format if you want to deploy for production use, right? serious production enterprise deployment. A uh, couple of reasons. Number one is that you have more control, flexibilities of using tar because you can create your own directory. You can structure your file system according to your disk structure, okay? Whereas the rest of the method, the uh, structure of the uh, data, the, the files, the file system, is pretty much fixed, right? There's a default area that we keep the configuration file, and also default for us to store the uh, log files. So, if you want more flexibility, tar is the way to go. All right. Okay. So everybody knows uh, MySQL is open source. Uh, Oracle, uh, we own the source code. So essentially, you could use it for free. We have a community edition, which you can download uh, and then use it. Um, for your own project or for your company, uh, whatever application, right? We also have a, a commercial edition where you want to deploy for uh, enterprise use, for company who want to have uh, um, somebody to support them, right, in case they run into problems. So we have a, a commercial edition if you want to consider um, um, more uh, enterprise uh, capabilities such as backup and so on, right? So these are the um, enterprise capabilities that we put together uh, in the enterprise uh, version. So this is uh, a subscription-based type of um, license where you subscribe yearly and then you're entitled for uh, bug fixes, new features uh, that you can download from our web um, to continue improve the database uh, in, um, database uh, capabilities. However, you know um, you, you you are free to use the database uh, if you don't need that kind of uh, you know features. I'm going to go through just a few so that you have a view of uh, what uh, is not in the committee edition, which you can consider in the future if there's a need, right? So we have um, uh, high availability uh, features, security encryption, 
and also uh, monitoring tools for you to monitor the database, how well it performs. And uh, important is the uh, support that we provide to, to you uh, in case you run into serious problem where you know, data is corrupted, you know, database crash, that you have somebody to guide you through how to recover from those uh, serious uh, issues. So just to summarize, these are the key uh, capabilities of um, a part of our commercial license. So we have authentication, we have encryption. Uh, we also have a firewall that uh, protect your database. And we have audit to audit um, what are the activities um, based on user are uh, going into your database. And we have uh, monitoring tools for you to monitor your MySQLs. And very important is this backup tools, which allows you to not only quickly um, uh, execute the backup quickly, but also to restore reliably, you know, in case um, there's a corruption data in, in your database. Uh, last but not least is the encryptions of your data. Right, so in the community uh, version, uh, data is kept as uh, text in the file system, right, in, on the, in the disk. Um, so if you have, uh, if you keep sensitive data, um, it, it's good to have this capability to encrypt the data so that even though the, the data, uh, the, the file is stolen from the system, people can look into your, your data because all encrypted. To them, it's just garbage, <laughs> right? Because you don't have the key to decrypt it to make sense of all the data. Okay, so if you work with uh, MySQL, which the, um, eventually you're going into um, designing high availability solution for MySQL, there are a couple of, uh, of uh, capabilities that uh, you will use. One is uh, replication, that you can make a copy of your uh, data and then store it somewhere um, in another server as backup or for scale out um, our kind of purpose. For example, if you have a main site um, having, say, 1,000 users, and you can have another server have a separate copy of your servers to serve um, other set of user, right? So if you have reporting requirement, you can have a replicated database for reporting purposes. So usually people use that to for that for for that scale out um, uh, availability uh, uh, requirement, right? Okay, so uh, Ivan's gonna talk a bit more on this uh, cluster solution that we have. So I'm not gonna go into more detail, but essentially, I want to tell you is that um, in the cluster environment, we have three uh, redundant MySQL server that form a cluster, and then we have a router to route application to the active primary server using um, whichever connector um, that tied to your application, right? And we have a MySQL shell to manage and configure your clusters. And we have a MySQL enterprise monitor to monitor the health of your cluster. Okay, so backup, very important. Um, in the community, um, addition, uh, there's a MySQL DOM uh, utilities, which allows you to do a database export. Um, it's not really a uh, enterprise grade uh, backup tools. Essentially, it's just um, you know, dumping out raw data from your database into a file, which you can recreate later on if you uh, want to restore your database. So for enterprise uh, use, if you are familiar with Oracle, right, there's an R-man that does that for you. So it, it, 
back up the, uh, um, uh, um, the database files. Um, so you can see a benchmark that we did is um, if you use MySQL DOM um, on a 37.3 gig database, it will take you four hours just to extract the data into a file. And whereas you use uh, enterprise backup, it takes you a couple of minutes. And that's not uh, the most important of all. The most important of all is uh, the time it takes to restore um, the database. Because when database is corrupted and everybody is screaming for data in, in your production server, um, you want to make sure that your restore work very, very reliably and fast so that you can bring the database online quickly and not you know, using the MySQL dump 18 hours, right? Okay, so the other is uh, transparent data encryption. Uh, what we call it transparent data encryption is that it doesn't require your data, uh, application to do anything to encrypt the data because the data is encrypted automatically by MySQL. And when you select or read data from MySQL, that data will be decrypted before sending to you. So you don't have to do anything in your application, PHP or uh, 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 JavaScript, to, to be able to take advantage of these uh, features. Okay? Uh, firewall, very important. Um, nowadays, we have a lot of um, you know, hacking kind of activities and you know, SQL injection is one of the popular ones. So if you have a uh, firewall, you can uh, block those SQL injection kind of attempt to try to steal your data, right? Uh, audit, you can enable to record uh, activities of user accessing your database. So to summarize, um, just to recap, is that um, MySQL is very popular, right? so it's very easy for you to get started, um, download, install, and not only that, um, MySQL is very scalable, right, to web scale or to mobile application uh, or any uh, type of, uh, you know, languages that you use. And with, uh, you know, the, our enterprise uh, edition, you can deploy um, reliably for um, enterprise, all right? So that's all I want to uh, talk about as an uh, introductory for you. Uh, any question that uh, you have? Me, me, me. Any question? Yeah, question. Uh, I just for the for the for the enterprise version is 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 can have the fast 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 queue more than the commercial version because if if I use the the web app for the commercial is have quite slow for the queue the database to show another another data from the database to the website is it has the fast more or the same yes and in the pie yes so your question is how how the does it compare with uh, I mean the community versions compare with the commercial editions yes. regarding the performance. Yes. Your questions. Yes. Okay. So performance 101 is you know the performance, okay, where the bottleneck is, then you can fix. And if you don't know, then it's just really dark and then you, you cannot fix. So to understand that correctly, first the server we have the monitor that you can dive in and that you can show what is happening and then fix regarding the SQL statement. 
and as well as some lump plasters. So it will tell you. So in terms of performance, one is actually uh, people get involved and the system can notify where, where the trap and the performance okay, problem is. And the second thing is like the backup performance, which the commercial additions can offer a much better way of doing things. So I hope this actually gives you the idea. So the commercial additions can build a better performance system. And on the other hand, a developers worry about the developments of the projects on functionality. Functionality. But whereas when a big corporations company, so the concern is not purely the so-called development and also functionality is how to apply, how to work with the so-called data. So they need the servers to be always up. They need the data to be always protected. They need the data to be managed and monitored correctly. So commercially, people look at this can be a lot more than just the developers. So that's why you can see why we need to build a community additions to promote everyone to create like the norm and people can still develop a lot of things on MySQL. Why we have the framework? PHP framework, Java framework, okay, Node.js framework, they all work with MySQL because it's freely developed and freely to use. But big corporations, they don't want to manage by hand manually. They can actually do it more by getting the features. That's why we provide, we offer the solutions for big corporations, okay, to ease the pain. So I hope I can give you the idea why there is community and why there is commercial addition in the world and people still look for us and then we can offer service. We can offer not just, sometimes when people look at eh, why pay and pay, pay is just only to support for people. No, it is not about just the support and people. It's actually different binary for MySQL, different binary. It include packages. It include the backup, which can be always online backup. I hope this can clarify some of the myth, okay, people using MySQL. Okay, well, thank you very much. Sorry, we are actually running out of time for this uh, session. Actually, we're already 10 minutes late. We'll try to cap it at 10 minutes. Uh, late. Um, so, um, and we have some great, uh, that was a great question, and I'm sure other people have some more questions. Um, so, um, so Ivan and Ryan will be around during the break. So, after this, you're most welcome to drop by the MySQL booth and, uh, and ask any questions uh, that you want.